Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men. So there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader. Yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. The Krogan will make sure that doesn't happen. Assuming you're successful with the cure. We will be. You have to be, Commander. I don't want to go down as history's last Primarch. Your men that crashed on Tachunka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. The Solarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now. Standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. That's all. Of course, Commander. is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Thank you. 
This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, sir. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Edie, did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper Harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feared. A secret Turian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? You're the Turian. You tell us. I got nothing, Lieutenant. Escape pod. Our first casualties. Survived the crash just in time for a harvester to take them out. Died in the explosion? Or dragged out and chewed on by husks. an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. Keep 
moving. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. Being the son of Adrian Victus is a lot to live up to. It's a big military name on Paladin. War's expected to run in the Victus blood. Doesn't always work that way. You gotta make your own name. We saved all those men. Over here. Over here. Shepard here. What's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. When we find him, we'll ask. Shepard here. Just saw harvesters drop a lot of enemies in your path. Understood. There's the harvester. Got it on the run.
Okay, let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. Here's where politics pisses me off. Wouldn't the Krogan want to blow these Reapers the hell off their own planet? krogan turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things.
Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turian. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nap point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. krogan turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. 
Thank you for saving my son. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories. They're what you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? That's all. Of course, Commander. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. 